Hey guys, this is Craig Migliacci with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is copper tube swaging and copper tube flaring using the spin tools. So these are the spin flares, and these are spin swages, and you put them into a high RPM and high torque drill in order to uh, heat up your, your copper and expand it, and they're also used to make our copper tube flare. So I'm going to show you an example of how to make a swage and also how to make a flare joint along with the step-by-step -step connection at the joint. So remember that we have these tools linked down in the description section below and make sure to check out our paperback and also ebook the refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning. So in this book we go over the different types of metering devices, we go over checking the refrigerant charge and also troubleshooting. This book is available over at amazon.com and also at our website at acservicetech.com. This is three-quarter OD soft copper also known as three-quarter ACR tubing and on the end we haven't reamed it now you could ream it with a unibit or a stick reamer but this spin tool is going to be able to ream the copper tube for you during the process so you just want to make sure that this tube is faced downwards while you're swaging it just to make sure that any copper dust falls out of the tube instead of down inside the tube you want to make sure to hold on to this copper tube with a glove because it's going to heat up real quickly due to the friction while we're swaging it So that's it. You don't want to force it, but you want to have a fast enough drill and a strong enough drill to be able to slowly move right in there once this copper tube heats up. You see that we have a little hanger right here, and that's because we didn't ream the copper tube ahead of time. So you're going to have a little bit of that, so it's very important to make sure that you have this tube faced in the downwards position so any dust or shards fall out of the tube. I also do want to show you what's on the inside, so I'll just rub my my finger in here and you can see the different dust and things so you got to make sure that you have this in the downwards position so a lot of just very fine dust and some little shards you see that so here we have our finished product and you see that the copper tube fits in there snugly and you see that there's no rocking so you want to make sure that you don't have too big of a gap between the copper tube and the swage so this is a good swage now what I'll do is I'll cut this back here so I can show you what a close-up image of the inside looks like. So here's your finished product and that's a nice swage. And on the inside you see it's already prepared for brazing or sweating. So that's nice. Uh, no other tool does that. So by using the, this and the rubbing on the inside of this copper tubing by the swage, it actually cleans it and shines it up, gets it ready in order to braze. The next tool we're going to use is the spin flares. So this one's half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch. And we have these linked down in the description section below. But you're going to notice that when I put this into the drill and, and drill this into this copper tube, that you're not going to have a finished flare once I'm done that. So what you're really doing is you're heating this up and preparing this to be flared. So you want to have a little bit of nylog or refrigerant oil on this flare, flare face right here. And you're going to tighten this on while this tube is still hot. So it's going to form the flare between the, the nut and, and this right here. Now before I use this in order to enlarge and heat up the copper to make the flare, I do ream the copper tube. Now I know a lot of people don't do that, but I do. And the reason for that is if you use this tool, it's a multi-step process in order to flare the copper tube. And I don't want to be in a hurry trying to knock all the copper dust out after I heat this tube up. Then we want to put our nylog or our refrigerant and oil you want to make sure that you don't face. put a whole lot on just enough to help seal that joint and also to help the copper glide along the face in order to make its flare <laughs> this joint is very hot right here so you want to make sure that you don't touch that i'm going to use two small adjustable wrenches just to make my flare and then afterwards I'm going to use a torque wrench in order to tighten this down. This torque wrench is set at 11 foot-pounds and we'll hear a click when it's done. That's it. 
that's how you complete a flare with the spin flares, but let me take this apart so you can now see the finished product on the inside. So this looks different now. So here's the finished flare from the spin flare set, and it does take up the majority of the inside of the flare nut. Remember that we have these tools linked down in the description section below, and check out our ebook and also our paperback, which are both available over at acservicetech.com, and we have the paperback available over at amazon.com. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.